The Dallas Cowboys got plans on re-signing Dak Prescott at some point this summer. Dak's got one year left on his deal, and he's set to count $59.45 million against the cap for the Cowboys in 2024. His base is $29 million, and he's got a $5 million roster bonus due on the fifth day of the new league year. The Cowboys can get a little bit of a break from Dak's contract, if they're able to negotiate a new deal with him, they can bring down his cap number, which will help them as the Cowboys got other guys that they got to sign. C.D. Lamb is going to need a new deal. Micah Parsons, heard of him. He's really darn good. He's going to need a new deal. According to owner Jerry Jones, it's not a thousand percent for sure that they're going to give Dak a new deal. But reportedly, according to the Dallas News, the Dak deal is going to get done. It's just a matter of the timing of it. Jerry recently said, you know, we don't need to sign him, but we can sign Dak this offseason. We want to solve it. You could get in and get on the same page and see if you can come to an agreement. Jerry even went as far as to admit that Dak's got to play better. He said that maybe we could argue it was one of his best years last year, but the good news is I'm convinced that he can play better, and I'm convinced that we could do some things better all the way around, and so we're all in. For, for many that don't know, I am a football fan. I do not cover the NFL. I'm just doing some news because it's a pretty downtime in music and, and basketball is about to pick up. But free agency in the NFL is some really good money, so I want to capitalize on it, talking about other people getting money. Uh, I'm not getting that type of money, but I'm trying to get somebody. I hate that I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I don't know why I did this to myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am 30 years of age. I did not see one championship that the Cowboys won. I would have been two, three, four years of age. So I don't know nothing about the 90s. I have been a Dallas Cowboy fan and seen nothing but losing. Why I decided to do this to myself, I don't know. My dad tells me he thinks I became a Dallas Cowboy fan in spite of him. And me and my dad didn't get along a lot when I was a kid. Uh, my dad is a notorious Dallas Cowboy hater. He believes that I became a fan of the Cowboys because me and him didn't get along. I mean, maybe, you, hey, maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe he's right. I don't know. With that being said, um, here we are. I'm a Cowboy fan. Why do I do this to myself? Even though I'm a Cowboy fan, I have never been a Dak Prescott fan. He's never been my cup of tea. I heard some stupid stories about him on spring break one year when I was in college. Never bought into him. I got to be real, though. Dak had a really good year last year. Say what you want. Somebody's got to beat up on the bad teams. And though you can never trust Dak in a big game, he's a walking James Harden in big games. Somebody's got to go beat the Orlando Magic. And that's exactly what Dak Prescott did. I'm, obviously, I'm using NBA terms, but James Harden is notorious for beating up on the Orlando Magic. I don't give a damn what are the four guys you got on the squad with him. He can beat the Orlando Magic by himself. He can beat those bottom feeders in the Easter Conference by himself. And I got to give Dak that same type of love and credit. Somebody's got to beat up on these teams in the bottom of the NFC East, the Giants and the Commanders. Somebody's got to beat up on the bottom teams of the NFL. And Dak Prescott has mastered that. The Cowboys look great against bad teams, and they look average against really good teams. It's like, there, you got teams out there that look good against bad teams, and they look good against good teams. The Cowboys are not one of those squads. If you have weaknesses glaring, the Cowboys are going to dominate you. If you're a pretty sound football team, i.e. the 49ers, the Dallas Cowboys are going to struggle with you. The only good team to... Cowboys don't struggle with is their in conference in division rival the Philadelphia Eagles which obviously there's a lot of history there y'all think I ain't know my stuff I do know my stuff with that being said though I am unfortunately got to be in support of giving Dak Prescott a new deal because the Cowboys have backed themselves in the corner it is not as easy as just letting Dak Prescott go they're still gonna have to pay that dead cap hit money so you might as well keep him on the damn roster Dak's team has negotiated masterfully and back Jerry and Dallas in a freaking corner. So you got to pay Dak because you got to bring his cap number down so you can be able to keep CeeDee Lamb and Micah like I originally mentioned. So the, the Cowboys are backed into a quarter. The only logistic move that they can make to not start or not have to play Dak is to pay Dak and then start somebody that's already on their roster for cheap i.e. Trey Lance. That's really all you can do. That's it. You're going to have to pay Dak Prescott because if you don't, it's a dead cap hit to your squad, 
which means you're pretty much paying them without paying them. Time, love, and support is what your boy would take for granted. Why do I do this to myself with the Cowboys? What's wrong with me? I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs? when I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports. I am culture, I am Pharaoh.